Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from XGRAutomation.com and this is part 4 of our Appium with C Sharp video series. And this is a continuation of part 3 and in this part we are going to start locating the element in Appium with different locating attributes, with different locating identification properties. So in this part we are going to start working with the rest of identification types such as accessibility ID and class name. So Let's not waste our time and flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we worked in our last video of this video series and we identified the control using the ID. And in this part we're going to identify the element using the other identification attributes like the accessibility ID and the class name. So for doing that I'm not going to use the application that we are developing like the calculator application rather I'm going to use the out-of-the-box calculator application this one right and for this particular application to use we need to make sure that our Appium is not looking this particular calculator application so remove this application path right that should be more than enough and then let's start this and let's identify these controls using the UI automator viewer so right now this will grab the this calculators application and you can also see that the package name is now changed from com.example.calculator to com.android.calculator so we need to copy this one as well and I'm going to change this guy in the app package here like this uh, let's save this let's see if I could change something else here yes and these identification property will also change these EDT number one and EDT number two will also change because this is a different application altogether so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type 56 plus 23 sounds good right so if I click this button and you can see it's digit 5 that's the ID right so this is how you can identify this particular uh, control so I'm going to take this and this is going to be for digit 5 so instead of doing this which we did already I'm just going to delete all of them so this is going to be digit 5 right and then I need to click this so I will do this way so 56 plus 23 that's what I told 56 so digit 5 I think it is 6 and 23 so we will call this as digit 2 and digit 3 but for addition operation let's see what is this particular control it is plus you can select the ID but there is something called content description this is nothing but the accessibility ID Right, so this is the different way of identifying the control using a different property. So I'm going to take this identification property, which is nothing but the accessibility ID, and I'm going to use that right here. So driver dot find element by accessibility ID, and I'm going to put plus dot click, and then let's see if we get the output after typing 56 plus 23 and then we need to hit equal to and a 79 again we don't know what is the this particular content description it is equals right so we need to type equal we need to press equal and also we need to get this particular text from this particular text box so this particular text box is actually a edit text box which has a class name and it, it don't have any ID or the accessibility ID right so I'm going to take from here so what I'm going to do once it does these two and then we need to click equals so driver dot find accessibility ID of oops it's equals I think dot click and then we need to get the 
result from the edit text box for the result right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold them in a string driver dot find element by class name and now the class name for this guy should be fully qualified like this so I'm going to paste that fully qualified name here dot text so this will return me the text from this particular control and then we need to verify if the result is equal to 79 right okay it's equal to 79 so if it is 79 then you tell me at assert assert dot r equals of so the expected is going to be 79 and the actual is going to be the result and we will say that it's passed all right and uh, let's remove this if condition we don't require this anymore all right great so now let's try to run this code and see how it works so i'm going to run the test and let's go to this emulator and we'll get an error in the eml in the appium server as you can see here the reason is actually in the code if you see we have this uh, capability as app package so this is not correctly defined remember in the part two of this video series we have given we tried to give the device name wrongly and we got an error similarly if we try to give the app package wrongly then still we'll get an error so for reducing this kind of problem in appium itself there is a enumerator available called mobile mobile capability type so you can just type this mobile capability type and since i have the resharper installed it's just bringing me up everything but without resharper this kind of enumerator will not come automatically to you so if you put dot you can see that it is showing you app app activity auto web device name all those things and we are interested in the app activity right now sorry app package right now so i'm going to select that right and then i'm going to save it and now if you try to run this code you can see that the code will run as expected so it is working fine and it should launch the calculator application for us in the emulator it says that it requires the app activity as well all right so let me go here so we'll create an app activity as well so i know what is the activity name for uh, the uh, calculator that we are dealing dealing with it is actually calculator that simple it is so I'm gonna save this and now if I try to run this hopefully this time the code should run fine all right the calculator launched and it is typing 56 plus 23 is equal to 79 and also the test should get passed all right the test got passed you can see that in the test explorer right so if there is any mistake then it will throw as an error so the assert will fail right so this is how you can perform the operation of identifying the control using accessibility id and the class name in appium for android application so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day